So, as discussed, once you've downloaded the uh, codes or the diagnostic status of the air conditioner, normal, intake temperature 22.5 degrees, the indoor condenser, sorry, evaporator is at 39 degrees, it's in heat mode. So the intake air is being heated by the coil, which is at that temperature. Heat mode, auto fan speed indoor, outdoor temperature is 8.7 degrees. The middle pipe temperature is of the condenser is 5.9. So although the air is cold, the outdoor evaporator, sorry, condenser, is um, in, in heating mode, is extracting heat from the unit, the air. The compressor discharge temperature, once the heat is extracted, is being compressed. And you can see the discharge temperature of the inverter compressor 60 degrees. Depending on how, how um, at this, depending on how hard the compressor is working. Currently, the compressor is running at 27 hertz, so 27 times 60 gives you the uh, revolutions per minute. The LG compressor can go between 10 hertz up to 120 hertz. The electronic expansion valve is at 258 pulse, so it's just like um, it's an electronic expansion valve that uh, controls the orifice. Now, because being an inverter unit, the orifice of this inverter air conditioner is varied depending on how fast the compressor is rotating and the refrigerant, uh, how fast the refrigerant is flowing through the circuit. The outdoor fan is running at 680 RPM. Input voltage to the unit is 248 volts. Um, and the current is 5.6 amps. The DC link voltage is a voltage after it's being rectified and that's at 325 volts. Now this voltage can be boosted by the reactor or the power factor corrector circuit um, up to 400 volts. So if I had this split system running at a higher speed this voltage would go up and it would drive the compressor faster. So um, some models of air conditioner call this technology PAM pulse amplitude modulation where the bus voltage is boosted or or lowered depending on how fast you want the compressor to go or how slow um, to so a lower voltage enables a lower stable revolution higher voltage enables a very fast compressor compressor rotation for high cooling or heating and also with inverters they have an inverter circuit which mod it's called PWM it modulates its pulse width modulation using vector control and that controls the speed of the compressor now, within this app, you can also click um, on the next arrow, and what you get is seven pages of information, diagnostic information, uh, to repair it if you're inclined to, do, if you if you'd like. So, if I click on the next tab. And you can see in this app, you've got a whole lot of information on how to install it. Just got a lot of information. So let me just go to the next tab. And you can see how it tells you how to install it. Um, taping. And if I go one more, talks about um, SIMS units for air conditioners that, um, that don't have, I don't think have phone diagnostics. Now if I go one more, well there's a lot of information here depending on what you're after, you can just have a read. So this shows you a whole lot of stuff. So you can see it's got the circuit board, um, it shows you the components, what to measure, if there's a fault. Mm -hmm. And if I just keep on going, and one more, actually there's two more pages. Uh, this is, what is this showing? This is also showing, oh, the switch mode circuitry, well, more information than you need. Uh, certainly it's good for the air conditioner technician who comes along to fix it. He can certainly test for, um, it's a good way to test a unit to find out what the problem is. And the last page has 
the thermistors, so the indoor thermistor, outdoor thermistor, indoor pipe thermistor, outdoor pipe thermistor, and outdoor discharge temperature thermistor. So it's got the temperature profile, so if you want to test if the thermistor is bad, depending on the temperature, that should be the corresponding uh, resistance. So there you have it. Um, so LG AC Smart Diagnosis app, and I had to get the app from a third party website because for some reason it's no longer available in the App Store. So LG AC Smart Diagnosis version 1.1.4. Thank you. Bye.